2018, Jimmy, Murphy Center Stars underwent a series of intensive acting exercises that further honed their skills and enabled them to attack goals differently. The graduates successfully showcased their growth via acting in a culmination event held last February. Now, the learning continues for the talents of Jimmy Murphy Center, international acting coach, Anthony Vincent Loba is back in the Philippines to provide a new round of workshops which will help the artists widen their acting range. Before we begin, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our beloved friends from the press and guests. And of course now, let us all give a warm round of applause for renowned New York acting coach, Mr. Anthony Vincent Loba. So it's a collaboration 
that we have, and then, then they might see. Anna privately, if I'm not there, and so on. And then, you know, so this is, this is big. This is big, and I have to say, I take a lot of pride in this aspect of the act of development. I do. More pride than just than teaching them a system of acting. Because what good is a system of acting if the actor is not looked at in a way that helps them stay grounded as people? And that's you know a very, very, very important thing. So thank you for asking. Um, thank you. And in relation to that, how was your experience working with a specific group of young artists? Ah, uh, the new batch. Yeah, we have the second batch. And the second batch. Yeah, we have a mixture, right? One or two, here we are. They're great. They're hungry, they're hungry, beautiful actors, talents. And they, and I, the main thing is the hunger. Without hunger, we could be managing and teaching and all day, all night. You're gonna see mediocre results. And it's, I have to say, when an actor is not hungry, it makes um, our job less fulfilling, right? Even from a management standpoint and everything else. When an actor is like, well, you know, I'll give just so much. It's not, it's not good. This is different. This is very different. The actors are hungry, and through this uh, process that we have, through this nurturing facilitation that we have going on between management and uh, the acting teachers, we, the actors are, are doing quite well. And I think they know it too. I think they see it and they, and it, it's, it's, it's big in that way. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, sir. The next question is for Ms. Anna Tadeo. Ms. Anna, how different is the Boba acting workshop? from the other workshops that you, you know, experience? Um, I, have, I have been doing this, I've been teaching for 15 years, I've been trained by my parents, and even before teaching this alone officially, I've grown up with this technique, so it's the same methodology. Um, the difference now, being uh, a trainee, being a facilitator of the Boba Actors Workshop, is that, um, well, I really updated my craft, updated in the sense of I know more techniques. Anthony is a fantastic mentor because he has taught me how to blueprint a human, uh, a person, just by looking, just just by you know behaving. I am not. It's easier for me now to read, and it's and and I understand the humanity of the actor better. I I think I have become a less I don't want to say critical, but I'm more understanding of what the what the actor is going through. Um, also, I have learned I have learned to to trust in drills. He's a drill na tao. It's it, he drills he, he drills and drills and drills and it's like so that the the system really stays in the in, in the person and the person. Forgets to forgets being afraid of trying and trying, and they become more comfortable playing and exploring. It's because of the drills that I learned from him. So, parang yung sistema na with him kasi natuto ako na iba ang iba ang approach sa artista. Matuto mas mas matuto silang maglaro. Mas matuto silang hindi sila matagot na judge sila that the workshop is not a, an active contest or like to test if you can be singing up or do snow. The workshop is for them to, to explore, to play, to learn about themselves, to learn about the different sides of themselves and not judge these sides because as characters, they might have to bring out that side or this side. So, you know, it, with him, especially in New York, you know, it's it's, it's helped me understand that I, my first priority as a facilitator is to create a safe place for the actor. So that's the main push, the, the improvement or, or the update in the way I facilitate 
when I started, you know, working with Anthony and being mentored by Anthony. Thank you, Ms. Anna. My last question, actually, my two questions are for Ms. G. Santiago Lara and Mr. Simon Ferrer. The first is, um, what do you think is the utmost importance of this workshop, especially the Boa workshop, to the artists of Jimmy? And wait, the next is, have you noticed uh, changes or improvements with the artists after the workshops? <laughs> The first question was, how important is this? Uh, it's very important. Um, uh, malaki yung commitment ng GMA sa pag-improve, uh, well, pag-enhance ng acting abilities <coughs> ng artists, ng artist center. Uh, diba, ano, napapansin niya naman, when you watch TV now, a lot of the, the shows talagang naka-feel yung mga artists natin because makita na rin yung pag-improve nila in terms of acting. We said that they are hungry. Uh, you can see it in the workshop. The uh, diligence they have to attend, the way they participate, they are not afraid. They are afraid. They For me, they are not afraid. But I can just imagine uh, how safe they feel since they are participating. Diba? So, important sa amin na sa, sa buong network, mamukusa yung mga artista na nilalabas natin para panoorin ng mga tao, para panoorin sila, pakilitin sila ng mga tao, magkaroon sila ng fans, magkaroon sila ng following, bumilib yung mga viewers sa kanila. So, it's an important uh, investment for us. Uh, so, that's one. Yung pangalawa, kung nakakita kami ng improvement, marami. Si Simon mo ko. <laughs> um, Siguro just to add to that, what we really like about the partnership and the collaboration that we have with the team of Anthony is we see how the artists, even if they're not really scheduled to be part of a particular workshop, and if they're free, they would actually ask us at Artist Center, can they attend that workshop? Because I want to enhance my craft further. And what we have been seeing is the artists, they're not already boxed or stereotyped on their specific roles but we're able to really see the different facets of the artists. Um, we're able to see how they have grown and that they can tackle different kinds of roles that are given to them. So it's so nice because we get to sit down with Anthony, we get to sit down with the artists, and they have a lot of stories that they share with us. Um, I guess later when you talk to the artists individually, you would hear a lot of inspiring stories. Um, like for example, um, if I can name a few, like see si Jeric and Sikaya, they talked to us recently. They were telling us that they were um, they're very excited about their upcoming project. But initially, of course, um, they weren't sure how they would be able to interact together. Because of course, it's going to be a drama, it's going to be a love story. But with the help of the workshop, they saw how much connection that they were able to gain with the help of the systems that Anthony was able to put in place. And they were telling us that they're very excited to really put it out um, out there in public for the viewers to see. And there are a lot of stories, like um, when we sit down with Anthony, he tells us, you know, this particular artist, we can see that we can put him or her in a particular role. So as a network, um, we really collaborate and we really try to push the artist as much as we can um, in order for them to further your craft to enhance your craft and to be the best actors that they can be. And of course, to continue the uh, development. And that's the reason why um, if you see the actors, you can we can see the journey that they go through. Hindi na siya yung ipong, dito ka lang forever na. Parang nakikita namin na talagang day by day, month by month, talagang mas nag-branch out yung talaga yung mga artists na. So I would love actually for the artists to share with you the inspiring stories that they have shared with us. Kasi, um, sila yung mismong, ano eh, nagkwento din sa amin sa kanaka-experience eh. Pero yun nga, parang ang nakikita nga namin, um, in terms of castability, mas madali, parang ang, ang galing nilang ikas, ang sarap nilang i-push. Parang as artist center, as their managers, ang sarap i-push ng mga artists lang to. Kasi, ang ano eh, ang gagaling na nila eh. So, but for the specific stories, yun nga, parang would love the artists to be the ones to share that with everyone. Thank you. May I um, piggyback 
on something. It's a combination of what Ms. Gigi and Simon were just saying. Um, I've said this in past press conferences, but I have to, I want to bring something to light again, maybe for the third time or so. The investment that GMA has put into our training, to train the actors, into my training, Ms. Anna, under um, the supervision of Simon, Ms. Gigi, and Billy Beth, is unprecedented. Completely, and, and let me explain, and I've been poking around, I've been asking around, and not just this country, but this continent. And it's easily, the, uh, they have invested more in their talent than anyone, any other network, anyone, any institution in the country. That's easy. But I, from what I'm hearing, it's the, most, it's the biggest investment that, has, that is going on in this continent. That's huge. So, we have a good problem. And the problem we have is it's hard to get the actors to come to my training. Why? Because the BOVA actor scholars are employed. Now this, this is a thing. And we're, um, poor Miss Jenny is uh, <laughs> to figure it all out. But she'll figure it out, right? But it's a very good problem. And this is, but this is the problem that we have when there is an unprecedented investment in the talent and in the cultivation of 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 their humanity, of who they are, that can that can can be compared to nothing around here, nothing at all, and no one at all. And I say that, you know, do I really know what's going on in you know South Korea? Uh, a little bit, <laughs> enough to know that they're not doing this. They're not doing this. So that's, I wanted to just point out that we can talk about the training and I want to hear the stories because these stories are a testimony to what's going on, but it really starts from, from the top on coming down that they've made a decision. This is where, this is how we're going to uh, this is where our investment is. And I have to say, just you know, to Ms. Gigi and Simon, it's an honor really to take that on, that, that, it, that I am to spearhead this. It really is an honor. Very, very humbling. Because you know, you could ask Ms. Anna, Ms. Anna and, and the team here, I, I, I don't train with an ego. I train with the respect that there's a human life that we are responsible for to really cultivate and, and help. So I just had to, you know, if there's one big point I really want to land is that cannot be overlooked. None of this training ha happens. None of it happens to this extent if there isn't a very big decision and a vision. And, a vision. and, and I, I, you know, the fact that we have a good problem of this record high level of employment makes, you know, is, is an unto itself good testimony. So, thank you. Thanks for setting up. Okay, the next question is from Lester Ramos. Should we go to the actors? Uh, I'm going to ask the actors. Um, to the actors, I know, um, can you share with us the experience working with Anthony? And uh, you guys are amazing actors already. But now that you're undergone a series of workshop with Anthony, with an international acting coach, can you now say that you are more confident to, to accept challenging roles? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think um, I've been a couple of years. I think is right. We, I used to look at the workshops as a way to become a better actor, to become uh, to get techniques or certain process I could do to land a scene or uh, um, become a character. But really, when I think about the Bobo workshop, that's not, not my secondary, but that's so secondary to how it's helped me become. 
a person or a better person, more than a better actor. But on the, there's an analogy, it's like, yeah, he, and he says this, he said it before, like, you could probably ride, you know, being a good actor, but if inside you're, you're not doing so well, that has a limit. And eventually it's gonna catch up to you. And he's always stressed out with us that we have to see our job or our craft as an actor as a holistic approach, as a human approach, because you know, we can get a lot of accolades, a lot of awards, but one of these days, you know, we, when we hit rock bottom or something, it's gonna affect us so bad that he doesn't want to lose us as a person. And he doesn't want to get us to become a great actor, but lose us as a person. And that level of respect, as far as our humanity, it really saves a lot of us. I know a lot of these people's stories just from being, their willingness to be vulnerable in the workshop. And there's a bond between us that's, you can't even imagine how close or how much I appreciate these people as persons, as humans, more than actors. Uh, we're so invested in each other that way, and he's invested in us that way, that when you think about, okay, yeah, so you're, you're gonna cast it for this role, it's like, it's, it's so it's such an easy, that's the, the easy part, getting casted or doing the role or trying to pick what's the best archetype or what kind of backstory would be. That's so, that's like the fun part. But the holistic part, developing us as people, been making us better people, better person, especially for myself, being yourself unapolog unapologetically, taking, not being ashamed of the bad side or not the darkness in you, just the holistic thing. I say that as far as art is sometimes, we're kind of forced to just show or just be, uh, or always good, we're always happy, we're always smiling. He lets, he lets us uh, hold both of it. There is, you know, there's a, the way in it, there's, you know, we're not always happy. There's things that are going on in private lives that he doesn't just, if anything, he focuses on that more. And to try to make you, you know, uh, go through it, but to be able to own it or to be able to own up to it, be safe, feel safe with it, or come out of it uh, as a better person. So I hope that answered your question. But, uh, I hope I, everyone else can agree that uh, yeah. you know, that, uh, so we're not becoming better actors, I think we're becoming better people. Vice President. I'm President of Fans Club. How about you from the batch this year? Yeah, this year. Maybe Jack or Manuel. Okay, Manuel. Or both. Both. Hello. Sign the learning experience with this above. Can I say that? Yeah. Um, Nung umpisa sa sa ibang workshop, di pa sa bobo workshop, medyo alam namin na nag-aalan ng tao kasi parang hindi ako hindi ako portable na mag-ilabas, mag-sabi ng personal information ba tungkol sa amin. Pero nag-bobo workshop yun. Sabi nga namin sa amin na nag-aalan hindi mo na, hindi mo na pinag-judge ka dito. Uh, mas naging komportante kami. So, mas naging ganado ka na mag-attend, mag-attend na ng Google workshop. And every day, or every workshop, ang dami namin natutunan ng bago. And uh, isa ito sa mga, pina, isa sa mga pinakamalaking bagay na kailangan namin para hindi kami maubusan ng, uh, sabi nga nila, panguhugutan sa set. So, uh, Sobrang masaya ako na isa ako sa mga nag-workshop kay Loba ay na naging pagkaya ako ng Bobo Workshop. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon everyone. I just want to say that I'm just part of the freshman batch and I'm just new and I would like to say that I'm young and inexperienced and I live the sheltered life, but then going through this process, I I got shocked. Like, there's so many feelings and emotions that uh, I didn't know that were in me. And, and what I love about, it's not, what I love about this workshop is also not just about the acting technique. It's also, it's more than that. It's more, it's, 
it's about your life. It's about improving yourself as a person, as uh, Mr. Anthony said, na staying grounded and uh, yeah, 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 improving your life. And I'm a really, I'm, I'm a really huge advocate of improving yourself in every aspect of your life, not just in acting, but in life in general. So. Can I add something? Manolo is one of my newest students, one of my newest actors, and I just want to commend him. When he started with me, he was very conscious and shy, and he's, um, you know, very protective. And but and and you know, basically the the least that you will notice in the whole group. But you know what? It did not like. Him. He shows up every day. He shows up every day and improves 5%, 7%, 8%, and then there's a breakthrough. And then he keeps improving, he keeps showing up. Even if he feels like he's the only one, he's the sore thumb. And now he is thriving. And I hope, Manolo, that you know, I, whatever is happening to your career now is a reflection of your attitude towards the work. And I hope this will continue. Because you know, sometimes kanya kanya tayo ng timing, kanya kanya tayo ng timing na na magkaka breakthrough. But the attitude, the attitude is just priceless, and it's it's such a I have to just say it's such it's such a pleasure to work with Manolo because he's one dependable actor. I have to say. Na, 
Bova doesn't only teach us about the, he doesn't only get us through the techniques and the approaches, but also my favorite thing is that he talks about, uh, he teaches us about life. He enlightens us, and I think that is very, is the primary significance in um, being an actor, because um, hindi mo naman mag-portray yung character if you don't know how to live life and to appreciate and to uh, notice every little thing about your day. Because some of us, we just uh, live through the day, we are very routinized and we forget to actually notice and appreciate. And that is a very important foundation for us actors. Um, it is also important for us actors na <coughs> Uh, in Bova, I think before the lost the home, uh, I knew what the scene was about, but I didn't know how to uh, start to start preparing. Pero dito sa Bova, tinuluan niya kami na first day, and hanggang ngayon, sobra nag-grow kami. And a few feel sa sarili ko na nag-grow din ako as an actor. Dahil nga yun, nasabi nga rin nila na Bova Acting Workshop, hindi lang siya about acting. It's about your personal life, kung paano ka, kung paano mo tignan yung life, and kung paano mo i-handle lahat ng situation na nangyayari sa'yo. Kasi kung pa, kapag ina-absorb mo lahat ng um, lahat ng problems, lahat ng judgments, sobrang bababaka, babagsak na, rock bottom, sobra. Pero si Bova and si Ate Ana, sobrang tinutulungan sa kami na kung paano i-handle lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay natin. And marami akong nagtutulong sa Bova Acting Workshop and I'm so grateful na I'm part of it. And lalo na mas nag-build din ako na and lalo na mas nag-build din ako ng relationships sa mga acting, sa mga actors natin, sa mga artist center of uh, talents. Sobrang mas tumawag din yung connections and yung happy ako na mas nakilala ko sila. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for your effort. And sa tayo na binigay sa amin ng artist center and sa investment na to, sobrang naging tulong sa amin. Sobrang ako, laking tuning niya sa akin. Kasi before, kapag a-attack ako ng isang eksena, I used to overthink, as in overthink na to the point na hindi ko magagawa yung mga eksena. Pero, nung natuluan na kami ni Ate Ana and ni Anthony, confident na ako na, uh, ayun na to, uh, madami ng drills, maraming options na binigay sa akin sila, Ate Ana and si Anthony. Maraming, uh, maraming ways para mapunta doon and Happy ako na. Instrument, yung sarili mo mismo, kailangan. Uh, ayusin mo muna siya, kung may problema ka ba, uh, alapin mo muna yun. So, nagulat ako nung marap ako sa kanya kasi alam ko sa sarili ko, wala akong problema. Wala akong kailangan na yun Pero nung marap ako sa kanya at nagsalita ako, alam niya na agad kung anong kailangan na yun siya. And uh, that, that will hinder uh, the job. So, kailangan. Ayusin mo na yun. Uh, quality with your uh, personal things and uh, everything. So, nagulat ako and uh, natuwa ako kasi <clears throat> parang ayun niya, parang therapeutic siya and nakatulong talaga siya sa sarili ko na maging better person and maging confident na kaya kong ayusin lahat sa sarili ko. And uh, that, that makes me a better actor na nakayang mong uh, alam niya lahat ng emotions ko. So, yun. Save the best for last. Yeah. <laughs> ano ako yung question? <laughs> okay, um, for me, um, I'm part of the second batch, which we call the Warriors. We are the Warriors. And, um, um, I'm sure masasabi ninyo na ako na yata yung patingin mo na. Tama. Ako at saka si Ben yung pinakamatagal na dito sa GMA. Bakit? Nag-workshop pa rin ako. Yan. Um, it doesn't matter how
how long you've been in the industry. Um, what matters is your hunger to learn. And kung ayaw mo matuto, hindi ka para sa hindi ka para dito sa industry na to. Pero kung gusto mong matuto, kung gusto mong maging um, kung gusto mong maging isang better person, you want to be a better person, um, a better human being, um, hindi ka dapat tumigil na matuto sa online. Because if you don't learn, wala kang, wala kang matutulong ang ibang tao. And this is uh, the workshop with Anthony and Anna. Also helped me a lot personally because um, yes, I also do have problems, personal problems. Um, I struggle sa sa buhay. Hindi ako perfect. Um, hindi ako magaling. Hindi ako sobrang galing. Pero gusto ko gusto ko mag-aral. Gusto ko matuto. And Right? 
So when I, 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 people from all over the world come to me with different, so there's that I have to deal with. You know, here, everyone's here from the Philippines, mostly, right? Um, and it's extreme, this is, I say, salt to the earth, you know, salt to the earth kind of thing. Very grounded here. Um, I don't always get that groundedness back in the States. Simultaneously, the training here is different than the training in the States. The structure is different. Not the training, but the structure of the training is different. In which, um, in the States, the network's